Welcome to the Encore Sessions, sponsored by... Absolute Vodka. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> we are citizens. Tomorrow's world. Let's go. Who's the racket? Welcome to the special CMG edition of the Encore Sessions. We're here in New York City at the Olala oh La Festival. Um, we're here with uh, the citizens. Uh, thank you guys again for uh, being a part of this. Um, so where are you guys from? We're from London. Yeah? Yeah, and, yeah. And what's that scene like? It's really um, exciting in London at the moment. When we started this band a year and a half, two years ago, we had this um, feeling that no one was making exciting pop music. Everyone was too embarrassed to do it or, or something like that. So we decided we were going to be the band that uh, brought back you know, real, credible, imaginative pop music that only bands can do. Um, so that's what we, we went away and did. And now, a couple of years down the line, we see that maybe a few other people were thinking the same thing. There's bands like Kindness, Django Django, theme park who have all made amazing albums that I think share the same spirit as ours even though they sound completely different. I hear you guys are going to be playing with a lot of French bands tonight. What is that um, like for you? Is that Are you guys feeling a little bit like you're intruders or? Yeah, they bully us. Oh yeah? Yeah, they, yeah. they talk behind our backs in French so we don't understand. We don't know what they're saying but we know it's definitely bad. I know what they're saying, I just don't tell you guys because... Yeah, cut you up. Oh man, those guys, I can't believe it. But no, it has been fun. We've, been, we've played three dates with them so far and every night there's been a great crowd. We were in uh, Montreal last night, so there was a good French crowd, so kind of... Nice. Yeah. You're also signed with Kitsune. Um, how did that meeting come about with meeting with uh, Gildas and Masaye? Um, Gilda just heard our demos really early on, um, before we even had a band name, and he said he wanted to put one of our demos on one of their compilations. And we said, well, we haven't got a name. And he said, you know, Joe de Way, he said, I don't care. <laughs> I just love the way that guy can say, I don't care, so convincingly. So um, we put it out, and I guess from that point, we knew that they were imaginative. They were prepared to think about things differently, and we've been with them ever since. This 
Thank you so much. We are here today with uh, Tomorrow's World. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So tell us a little bit about um, yourselves, where you're from. Um, we are a sort of uh, amalgam, a European amalgam of uh, people because I'm French and Lou is English. Ah. So we are like the, the Concorde. We are like a sort of a Britannic and French project, you know, in the same time. Very nice, very nice. So, um, JV, you are also a part of another well-known band called Air. So could you explain a little bit about the difference um, between Tomorrow's World and Air and the music that you will be, <coughs> you know, that you're creating? Uh, yeah, Air is another band, and um, what I do now with this project is another spirit. You know, it's, um, I think that when musicians do a band, they don't exactly know what they are doing and they go in a sort of like a soul. They are searching for a soul, a sound, and it's a research program and we don't know what we're going to do in advance. And in both bands, uh, it's uh, something that we have to, it's a sort of way, a sort of discovery that we are searching for. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, you know, um, it's the, uh, we have no programs, we, have no, we don't know how it's going to end. So uh, air is a spirit, and tomorrow's world is another spirit. It's not um. the same at all. So, Lou, how did you meet JV? Um, we met through a mutual friend called Alex, who was playing drums for air, and um, he recommended me to JB. And uh, JB liked my voice, so um, I had a gig with my other band in Paris, and um, JB came to see me, and uh, that was that. And we started working together. And what would you like the, uh, your uh, fans to kind of take away from your music? Being that it is spiritual and, you know, creative, what do you want them to kind of get, you know, from it? I, I think our band is about, um, like, slow tempo songs. And I suppose that it's uh, some music that you want to hear when you feel a little bit, like, melancholic or mm -hmm. alone. Yeah. And... You know, when you feel melancholic and when you hear a melancholic song, it helps you, it cures you, it cancels the, the sort of uh, a pain. And uh, that's what I want to do to people. I just want to, to do uh, medicine, like yeah. music, like a medicine.
we are here at Encore Sessions uh, with uh, Matthew from Lescop. So being um, a French uh, musician, how is it um, performing in front of an English-speaking uh, audience, I guess? Uh, it's kind of funny because um, I'm sure people don't understand what I'm saying, <laughs> so, which is not the case in France. So it's kind of funny because, you know, in France, people are very conscious about the lyrics and uh, they always want to, you know, to know what I'm talking about. And Americans don't care. And that's, that's a good point for me. Yeah. Um, and you recently just uh, dropped your new album in October. Yeah. Um, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind the album and the, the songs on the album? It's an album which talks about um, complicated feelings between people and cities, night, cities at night. And you're signed with, uh, is it Pop Noir? Pop Noir. Pop Noir. How did that come about? How did you meet um, John and Jen? Yeah, because John produced my record and uh, he's uh, the founder, founder? Mm -hmm. he's, yeah, yeah, founder. Of, um, of the Pop Noir label. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was like a work in process, you know. We produced the record by at his place mm -hmm. in the basement, in a very small place, just like this. And uh, after that, he decided to make his own record company, and I was the first artist. Can you tell us a little bit about your um, music, um, I guess, process? Like yeah, I always write the lyrics first uh, because. You know, I come from a tradition of, in, in, you know, in France we have a real tradition of lyrics and uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, so this is the most important for me. So I wor work on the lyrics first. And uh, since I know that Jim Morrison did <laughs> the same, <laughs> so because I was a huge fan of Jim Morrison when I was a kid. And um, we, you know, let the lyrics be written and then there's something musical inside the lyrics, something and a rhythm too. And after that, I work on the music. Sometimes people do it for me, or sometimes I do it myself. And then I go to studio. Je sens ton souffle qui 
I'm joined here by Hoosteraket. Um, what does that mean in English? Wow. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so it basically, it doesn't mean uh, a specific thing. It's like uh, a play on world, like in a French play on world, like we kept, we found it when we were at the end of our teen, teen years, you know, mm -hmm. in a very tiny room in a suburb of Paris. And we couldn't imagine, like, years and years later, we had to explain that silly band name, especially here in New York. <laughs> so it's basically a, a mix between tennis, house music, uh, the fact that maybe our music is kind of loud, so a racket. So yeah, stuff like that. So tell me a little bit about your, um, your genre of music. Um, electro pop house, like, how would you? Yeah, it's, it's always very hard, very hard to describe uh, our own music. But yeah, I think uh, since the beginning of that name, with the meaning of who's the racket between house music and yeah. uh, at the beginning it was maybe a bit house, but after uh, we did maybe one one track like that, and we we were like, no, we are so bad with house music, so <laughs> let's stop. We kept the name, but um, but yeah. This, so we do like the electronic music, but we are, we are rockers. We uh, we play guitar, electric guitar, drums. So yeah. it have to be powerful on stage. We are a huge fan of Nirvana, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so um, yeah, I don't know, like maybe electronic, maybe more rock than pop. But uh, but we are a huge fan of the Beatles and the strong choruses and and strong verse. So yeah, yeah, it's between. Uh, Maybe between uh, hot and cold, because if the French touch sound exists, of course we are. We cannot avoid that kind of sound. But we are also like like maybe a new wave sound. Like let's mix it. Let's call it uh, I don't know a French wave. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs>